The Prescription An apple a day keeps the doctor away, as surely we all know so well. But how to convey it and know he's received it without actually ringing his bell? You should use a strong box for a shiny ripe cox, though if it is going by mail, make sure that you wrap it in tissue and send it as soon as you can without fail. For a beauty of bath, no, really, don't laugh. An ad in the paper is best. Give a place to collect it, and next day repeat it. He can smuggle them out in his vest. A pink lady is nice, and not a bad price, in seductive colours to boot. Your doctor will love it, with its flesh hypodermic. It is such a superior fruit. He won't want a cooker, though it is quite a looker. Magnificent, weighty and green. But a doctor will want it fairly sweet or resented, or say it's not good for his spleen. For the busy GP, send a few more than three, as long as the funds can be found. Consume the same day as preferred, I would say. It helps if your doctor's housebound. One thing I must say, you must heed right away. It's to do with maggots and bugs. Your apple do clean it, so your doctor won't see it. It was once a nice rest home for slugs. If you play your cards right, you'll secure, without fight, an absence of medical strife. Or you'll have to submit, and dark probings permit. Either that, or just run for your life. Well, many thanks for listening, folks. I hope you like what we are doing here. And if so, do look out for more poems from the book and also from other books we've made. By the way, we shall be uploading a new video soon, which we hope you'll also enjoy. Please subscribe to the page to make sure you don't miss it once the video is released, and of course for all our future videos too. For further details of the books we've made, don't forget to visit my website, and please see the comments for the link. Thanks again for watching and toodaloo until we meet again.